Hey, good morning, church. I uh, hope you're all doing well. My name is Kyle. I'm one of the pastors and happy to bring you hopefully some encouragement this morning um, from scripture in our daily devotional. Uh, this past weekend at church, we talked about anxiety and worry. And I started thinking about uh, that in my own life as, as kind of this topic comes up. I started to think about how that's a really hard thing to navigate as a Christian. Because if you're like me, it seems that uh, kind of a natural response to or a natural result of uh, kind of circumstances going haywire or not going the way I think it, it causes concern and worry to well up in me. And then I can look at scripture in the book of Philippians chapter four, verse six, and it says, be anxious about nothing or don't be anxious in anything. And, and I can read that back. Well, how does that work? Because again, we are impacted by the kind of circumstances around us. For example, if I was to walk outside in the rain, I'm going to get wet because that's kind of a natural result of being out in the middle of a storm is I'm going to get wet. And sometimes my worry feels a little bit like that. Like it's this natural kind of response to the kind of storms of life. But the beauty is if we continue to read in Philippians chapter four, verse seven, it says, but in everything with prayer and petition and with thanksgiving, bring your requests to God. It, it, this verse is, it, it doesn't just stop by saying, well, oh, don't worry about it. It goes on to say in every circumstances, in the highs and in the lows with thanksgiving, bring your request to God. So it's saying reflect on God's goodness, the blessings around you, those things, you meditate on those things, you bring your request to God and you you talk to him about what's going on. It, because the reality is, is our God is not impacted by the circumstances. Our God is not phased or surprised by the circumstances. God is faithful and good and consistent. And, and I know this to be true because of what scripture tells me, but I also know this to be true because I can look at my track record. I can look back at my past at the things I've been worried about in my life or that weren't going the way I thought and I was worked up over and I can see God's faithfulness and consistency to see me through that thing that was going on. He's good and he's faithful and he's consistent and he is not impacted by the circumstances. And then listen to what it says in verse seven. Of Philippians 4 it goes on to say and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus it, it says when we bring him our request no matter what we're going through when we with thanksgiving present our request to him and we bring those things to him we focus on him it says that he will give us a peace that surpasses our understanding that doesn't make sense and that he will guard our hearts and minds and so for you and me when you find yourself in a place where worry is welling up inside of you and concern and anxiety and those things are welling up inside of you, let it act as just a, a quick reminder or alarm clock to stop what you're doing and present your request to God with thanksgiving in your heart to bring those things to him and turn to him and watch how the peace of God that surpasses our understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. I hope you're encouraged by that this morning. And we hope to see you this coming weekend.